Coming up on Xterra Planet, we'll meet one of the world's best snowboarders, two-time Olympian Mark Fawcett. We'll take you to the San Diego Triathlon Challenge. And we'll follow the Billabong Odyssey team as they chase a giant swell from the Hawaiian Islands to the coast of California. This is Xterra Planet. There are so many things I like about snowboarding. I like the feel of it. I like it that it's different. That's what initially got me into the sport. And um, hey, pays the bills. It's a great career for me anyway. Mark Fawcett started snowboarding when he was 13 years old. He quickly became one of the world's top snowboard racers. So accomplished that he represented Canada in two Olympics, the 1998 Winter Games in Nagano and the 2002 Games in Salt Lake City. Mark has always been driven by a burning desire to be the best. I think I like all competition. Any sport I do, I'm pretty competitive. Um, when snowboarding sort of first came around, if you owned a snowboard and there was a competition, you did it. It was just really fun. And it kind of evolved like that, where snowboarding was competitive, and I think competitive people snowboard. Mark is well known for his success as a World Cup racer, but he spends much of his time now free riding the best spots in the world. A chance for him to test his personal limits. There's a lot of fear in snowboarding in any aspect. Every day I go out there, I'm scared of something. And uh, I think that's why we do it though. You're gonna kind of push that, push that 100% level and go over to 101 and see what it looks like and peer over and that's what we like to do it for is, you know, it's scary going fast, going big, whatever you're doing, going down something that's just insane. Yeah, definitely scared. Helicopters give Mark access to the greatest runs on Earth. The trip to the mountaintop is a time for mental preparation. The helicopters are definitely one of the highlights of the trip. You know, it's a good, easy way to get up fast. Looking at lines is a really difficult thing in the helicopter. Um, you don't have a lot of time usually. The pilot's kind of wanting to go. They might have to work with another group or just not steady air. So you're very wide-eyed. Take a Polaroid picture of it usually. and. Uh, I've had a few experiences where we've come up over the back side of a ridge, landed, and had to go on the other side without even seeing it, blind. Over the years, Mark Fawcett has seen many changes in snowboarding. To him, it's unbelievable how far the sport has come. The level of snowboarding overall has just blossomed to like mind-blowing proportions. People are going huge and technical, even if it's like racing. I mean, like the speeds are high for how tight you're making turns. The guys that are free riding in Alaska are doing the sickest lines on snowboards, and the skiers aren't even touching them. The level of sports, it's unbelievable. I look at some of the stuff, I, I, I couldn't even dream of doing that, you know? It's unbelievable. It would scare me in a dream. Ha, ha, ha.